Okay, Mr. Morris. All right, my name is Don Morris. I'm running for city councilman at large. I'm a lifelong resident here at Jericho, 53 years, born and raised. I've uh, been married 18 years to my wife, Cheryl. I have two children, Carson and Paul, who are present out here. Uh, currently, I'm the executive director of the Wabash Valley Men Sports Center. In 2004, uh, I took the position of administrative assistant to Mayor Burke. And uh, for two years, my job primarily, in addition to scheduling him, was answering phone calls from the public and trying to answer their questions and solve their problems. So I, uh, I feel I have experience with that. I worked a good relationship with all the, uh, the department heads. Naturally, if we get a new administration, that would be one of my jobs to, uh, to get a liaison between the department heads and myself. Um, the job itself involves solving problems, be it leaves, be it uh, answering questions about sidewalks, that type of thing. And then in 2006, I took it to the position that I'm currently at with the Wabash Valley Family Sports Center. During the last year and a half, I've uh, been on the outside, or the two years prior, being on the inside of the city government. And being perfectly honest with you, I did miss it. Um, and that's why I'm choosing to run for city council. I do want to serve the public here. And I think I can help. Uh, we're seeing great momentum right now, and a lot of progress. And I feel like I can contribute. So I would appreciate your vote. Thank you, Kurtz. Hi, um, I am Vicki Kurtz, and thank you for my post here for sponsoring this. Um, I have lived here for about 55 years, um, I'm telling you how old I am, but uh, older than that. I'm soon to be a retired teacher from Eastern Illinois University. I did teach at Indiana State University, I, I did go there, which where sadly my taxes stay. So I will probably be working in this area after May 7th. Uh, I've worked in animal rights here for over 20 years, and that probably is one of my strongest uh, one of the strongest issues that I'm really campaigning for is to turn this terrible situation around that we've had. 20 years is too long to have to live um, under this, with this problem. And it hurts the image of Terre Haute greatly. Uh, I have four animals. If anybody wants to adopt anything, I have several uh, to select from. But I think that we've become kind of the mini shelters and our homes for uh, the city of Jericho. I think that's wrong. And so I really desperately want a municipal shelter where we can take, take animals day, night, uh, have some animal control on, on duty at, you know, at, like Bloomington does. I'm a little tired of hearing about, well, we're not Bloomington. Well, one time Bloomington was not Carmel. And so we can be whatever it is we strive to be. And there are a lot of really dedicated uh, animal groups here that work to neuter and help bring us come around. It takes a greater effort than that. Uh, one group that I am with uh, neutered 6,000 animals over a five year period. And so um, that's probably one of my main issues, along with fiscal responsibility. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I want to thank the uh, League of Women Voters and the Kirby Star for hosting this. Uh, I'm Jim Chellos. I'm the president of City Councilman at large. Uh, I'm married to my wife for 16 years, Tina. And she's out there somewhere uh, supporting her husband this evening. And I've got four children, Adam here in Austin uh, and Alexis. We didn't bring them this evening because we thought everybody might be interested in listening to the uh, debate instead of our children. Um, I've been in public service probably now since I was around in public service since I was two years old since my father won his first council race uh, many, 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 many years ago. Uh, he placed a uh, love in our heart for our public service. Uh, in the last three and a half years, I'm on the council. Needless to say, we've had many battles and we've won some and we've lost some, but I wanted to compare some of the things that I feel were positive for our, for our uh, things that we've done in the community. Um, I'm glad for several infrastructure projects that we've got going on in the community. Uh, we also uh, were uh, named uh, seventh in Site Selection Magazine for one of the best places to uh, put your business uh, nationally uh, for, for uh, Place of 200,000 or less population. Uh, I'm also proud of some of the companies that have expanded in our community. I think the council has had uh, a lot to do with the incentives and things that have caused that, that to happen. Um, there's some things that I'd like to see happen in the next four years. Uh, one being the animal, uh, the animal control issue. We need to work on that. I think we've uh, touched the tip of the iceberg, but we've got some more work to do on that, on that issue. 
And one of the things that's close and near and dear to my heart that I'd like to see happen is I'd like to bring Russia and Terre Haute back to, to uh, Terre Haute. I think that was a very good program. My father started several years ago that helped people that may not have the means to go good enough for $100, $200 to uh, get rid of some of that trash that's in the alleys and things of that nature. So I'd like to see a program like that come back in the next few years. Uh, we have a 2%. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Good evening, Terrell Hope. My name is Carmen Owens Black, and I am a candidate for city council at large. I'd like to say that in November, I looked over the ballot, and uh, I looked it over, and I thought, you know, it's time. It's time for a change in Terrell Hope. And also, you know, I believe that the people are Terrell Hope, not Terrell Hope, the people, and that all segments of the community should have a voice in the local politics. I also believe that the elected representatives of Terre Haute should reflect the makeup of Terre Haute. And I haven't seen that a lot. I realized that I was a sleeping giant and that I needed to open my eyes and take a closer look at what's been going on in the city. There have been times I have approached the um, members of the of the local politics and and you know they've not responded well matter of fact i thought i was talking to myself but uh, that's that, that's okay but i'm here now because i truly want to be the voice of the people and i'm uh have a broad range of people skills i'm a, currently a realtor i've been a realtor nine years i have great uh, facilitating mediating negotiating skills. I also have looked over finances and budgets. I know that the city council at large and council members look over the budget of Terre Haute and uh, if my numbers serve me right, our, our budget is going to be uh, close to 50%, moving toward 50% higher than it was in previous years. I just want to be an active part in what's going on in my community. I love Terre Haute. I'd be tired of people. <laughs> you can finish your sentence. <laughs> yeah, get tired of people, don't say me. <laughs> I'm terrible. Okay. George A. Zarr. Hi, I'm George A. Zarr. Um, I've been a member of the city council for the past eight years, almost eight years. I've been married to my beautiful wife, Kathy, for over th almost 31 years. I have three beautiful daughters, Michelle and Alexis, who are here tonight. Uh, they both uh, reside here in Terre Haute. I have another daughter, Amber, who lives in Boston with her husband, Nick. And they made us proud grandparents on February 14th with our first grandson, Alexander. And it also served a dual purpose that I told Kathy that was her Valentine's gift, so I didn't have to get her one. I want to thank the League and the Tribune Star and Sarah Scott for having us here this evening. It's a very nice facility and we certainly appreciate it. I've been in business in Terre Haute for over 30 years. And as a businessman, I know that there are times when you go to work and uh, you don't know uh, whether you're going to be able to afford what you, uh, what you really need or whether you, whether you need to buy something that you want. And as a city councilman, I try to take that uh, a step beyond. I'm not dealing with my money, I'm dealing with our money, yours and mine. And there are tough decisions that we have to make, and sometimes we have to make decisions not necessarily based on uh, our own personal uh, agendas, but on what we think is right and good for Terre Haute. I have always tried to do that in my eight years on the council. I have not always been right, I haven't always made popular decisions, but rest assured the decisions that I did make were made with the best interest of everyone in Terre Haute and Martin. Thank you. Chuck Miles. Thank you. I wish to thank the League for the Foes, the Tribune Star for sponsoring this forum, and hopefully you and the audience will get something from it. I've been a resident of Terre Haute for more years than several people in this room. I've been married for four or five years. I think one of the children, two of whom live here in the Terre Haute area, and one happens to be on the West Coast. I have eight grandchildren and two great-great-grandchildren. So, 
needs to say I am a family person. I've been a city councilman for the past eight to nine years. I'm finishing uh, my third term and I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the people. I don't mind getting those phone calls about a bad alley at 6.30 in the morning, you know, or someone telling me that a dog is barking in their neighborhood. I don't mind those. Not one bit do I mind them. I think that's part of it. If we can't accept that, then what are we doing there? I enjoy working with people, and I've enjoyed my tenure on the council. Hopefully, we're going to have an election this spring and again this fall that everyone is going to feel good about. And I'm sure that's why most of you came out tonight. I've got 30 seconds to say a whole lot of things. <laughs> so I will stop mine now. Thank you. You'll have an opportunity later. Thank you. Dan Walker. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, League of Women Voters, Tribuna Star, and my bosses. It's good to see you. Uh, I've lived in this, this town all my life. I was born and raised here. Uh, I, you see my flyer. I've lived here for 40 years in, in this district. It's the, to me, the poorest district in, in all the districts. And I'd like to see a improve more than it has been. I believe uh, it can. I believe that if uh, we work together, we can get this done. Um, I would like to see something done with the uh, animals. I, I do believe that uh, there can be something done. We have uh, buildings that the city owns. I'm sure that you know they could do something to accommodate here with the animals that's running loose. Uh, I want to thank my wife. I don't want to hear nothing about it now. And uh, I believe that our taxes are way too high, our property taxes. Uh, it's obvious they're too high if we send our taxes away and they uh, send back millions of dollars. So, you know, I, I think that uh, we could ease up on that. Uh, there are taxes in other areas, such as the wastewater. Uh, which is where I'm employed, and uh, this I can understand. But uh, these property taxes, I mean, there's like 1,500 homes for sale in, in the city. I mean, that's, that's crazy. That's, that's just totally crazy. And the more taxes go up, the more people will be leaving the city. And I just don't want to be one of them. So, I think. Thank you. Which more? Good evening. I want to thank the Tribune Star and I also want to thank the League of Women Voters for inviting us here. My name is Shovel Warner. I'm a lifelong resident of Terre Haute. I've been on the council now two years. Uh, I got on the council uh, to the caucus. I've enjoyed it tremendously. Um, I believe that we need to have more animal control. Uh, that has been a big issue. But we've had a lot of progress in Terre Haute. I enjoy the people. Um, I get phone calls all the time about their sidewalks and their streets, and I have no problem with that. I wish to stay on the council. And I thank you very much. Neil Garrison. Hi, everybody. I'm Neil Garrison. I'm running in the 5th District. Um, I can't tell you how excited I am to be here. I've been waiting, I think, for this at least four years. Uh, a little bit funny that I'm last to go tonight, so the way continued, I guess. Um, I do have some bio information out front. It's a yellow sheet, so I encourage everyone to pick that up. It talks about some details about me and some of my history, uh, so I won't have to cover too much of that tonight. Also, on the other side is the map of District 5. Um, a lot of people ask me that question on this on your job. Um, just real quickly, my background, education and job experience is marketing, creative advertising, and my master's in management. And um, I'm just hoping that a lot of those skills will be able to be used at the city council. Um, why am I running? 
Uh, I guess I've helped a lot of candidates in the past, and I always look for the same thing. People that think they're going to be good candidates, good for the city, good for their district, or whatever they're representing. And uh, I hope that you'll see me in that same light. Um, I have 12 goals that I rolled out about four weeks ago, and I'm up to 13 now, and, and uh, probably by the end of the night I'll be up to 14, but I look forward to your questions.